guys, it's Andrew from Crispy Productions, and today I'm going to show you a tutorial in Final Cut Pro X. So this is what it looks like. So this is the door open effect. It's a really cool transition for blogs or anything creative. So I'm going to show you how to do it right now. So let's move over here. And now you want to pick um, a video of a door opening and then something to go behind the door. So first off, let's just drag and drop um, the door opening. So now you want to move your um, fluid head to right where the door opens. So right about there. Now you want to do a shift B and then that will make it two different positions in speed. So now you want to make this up to almost 300. That's pretty good. And this is going to speed up your masking process and make it a lot easier. So right now we move back to right where it starts and then press B and then blade it and then do shift B again. I'll just make it 308. And now you wanna um, go to the effects bar. You wanna click video all, and then you wanna search mask. And then you wanna click draw mask. You wanna drag it onto this. And now you wanna add a control point. So you wanna um, draw right where the door is opening. So right about there and then there. Okay, so that, that looks pretty good. Now you wanna click invert mask, and then you wanna right click, right where this um, bar is, and then you wanna click keyframes and then add. So now, frame by frame, um, I'm gonna peel away and make this bar um, much bigger until um, the door is fully out of the frame. Okay, so now I have this fully masked out. So when I play this, it looks like that. So now we're simply gonna drag and drop the image, the video that you wanna go behind this video right here with the bar. Um, and you wanna drag it actually under this part. So the part that has the masking. So now look at this. You can see that when I open the door, it becomes the train. So now this is, now this is gonna make the effect um, much more realistic. So right here I have a train pass um, sound effect that you could actually get from the Final Cut Pro sound effect library and I'm just gonna drag and drop it onto this. So now um, drag your fluid head right to the end, press B on the keyboard and then blade this off Then press P and then you could delete this. Now you want to actually move your fluid head right here, press B and now it separates the two clips. So now if um, the fluid head is not snapping, then just press N on the keyboard or come here and put snapping on. Um, so now we wanna add distortion because the, tr the train is gonna be behind the door. So we want it to sound a little muffled. So come here, go to audio, um, and then go to, this, go to actually distortion. And then you wanna go down and pick one of these. So I'm going to pick um, just distortion. I'm going to drag and drop it onto the first clip. And now I'm gonna turn the decibel down because the sound effect is gonna be behind the door. So now watch this. So that's basically how it's done. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And peace guys.